Lindsay Tasker with us here on the Job and Dola Show, the goalie for the Abington Heights girls soccer team. Uh, Lindsay, you got a lot of pressure on you uh, playing the goalie, uh, but let's talk about it. Something that you, you started out playing or were you in the field and then eventually got to that point? So I've been playing soccer since I was four and I've never played goalie until this year, actually. Um, our goalie last year, she tore her ACL and... Um, we were talking about who would be goalie and stuff, and like since I play softball, I've kind of like know how to dive and very aggressive. And they were like, Lindsay, you can be good at goal. And I was like, why not? So um, it all started out. My dad was like, well, we can buy you um, goalie gloves. And I was like, all right, okay. And then it started from there. So, cool. so you like softball, uh, another sport that you do. What position do you play there? Um, I play second base. So let's talk a little bit about you know the. The difference between softball and soccer or the similarities they have you know is it you know just two sports that you enjoy and you like kind of rolling around and you know doing what you have to do to get the win yeah um i don't know i love just being aggressive i love playing the field in softball and just like going all out for a ball and that's like the same for uh soccer now being goalie it's like going all out and like making sure like i don't get scored on so, okay. All right, let's talk about your defenders in front of you. Take us through who plays in front of you. Okay, from left to right, it is uh, Lauren Bartell, Lindsay Bartell, Maddie Davies, and uh, Marley Tingleman. And they've done a very good job that, like, I don't have to worry as much, especially being, like, the first-time goalie. Like, I don't have as much pressure, so I know that, like, they're going to do their job most of the time. Let's talk about Coach Mannix's approach to you. What does he say to you, like, hey, be a cool cat there. I just need you to do this. Like, what are his words of encouragement to you? Just go all out, be very aggressive. He knows that, like, whenever I'm confident, I can do it. Um, and, yeah, he's very positive. Let's talk about the next level for you as far as college are you thinking maybe there'll be some sports maybe some softball at the next level or are you just kind of like right now you're wide open see what happens yeah i'm hoping to play softball but ever since playing goalie like i really enjoyed it so if i could in college like play both that would be nice about the being around these girls so everybody said hey you know we're best friends we've been hanging out and i was saying to one of your friends like listen it's hard to get girls or people for that matter to stay in the same sport somebody always you know kind of goes to another sport but you girls have stayed together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's that experience been like to kind of keep those friendships and all play the same sport and see everybody grow with it? Yeah, I've, I've known Maggie. Like, I remember we played, like, a rec league, like, when I was, like, seven. I don't know. But it's really cool to see everyone, like, work together on the field versus, like, when we were younger. Like, it's, it's very cool to see that. How about some of the younger players? Talk about, you know, what you feel you do to try to help influence some of the younger players on your team. So we have um, Caroline Henderson. She is the other goalie on our, on our team, and she's a freshman. And from working with her and um, the other goalies, like, I've gotten to know her um, and, like, be, like, a mentor kind of to her, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Well, Coach Kelly, uh, I'm a fan of his, mm -hmm. and Coach Manick, I know, is doing a really good job. So you got two good coaches that uh, you're around there at Abington Heights influencing you. We wish you the best going forward, all right? Thank you.